What's up guys, welcome back to see you out there. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another tackle review. As you uh, regular watchers know, your regular viewers know, we just got back from a trip down to Costa Rica where we did some surfing and some fishing. Had a blast, Corey and I down there. I took a travel rod down there with me, one that I've never used. I was a little skeptical because it wasn't uh, expensive. I guess I just assumed that it would not be a good rod because the price was very affordable. So I wanna get into that. I wanna show you guys some clips of us using this rod down in Costa Rica, catching some really nice jacks on this rod. And then I kind of want to go over some of the specifics and show you the Amazon link but guys very impressed with this go tour rod um, I'm not sponsored or in any way affiliated with the company it's something I picked up off Amazon I just think that uh, it's a very good purchase a very good buy for you traveling anglers that want to um, anyway let's get into the clips guys and let's show you about this go tour travel rod you all right guys 10 4000 battle 3 DX on our exceed travel rod eight foot medium fast 20 pound power pro, power pro braid. We're gonna put a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader on here. I think we're gonna start out with either a popper or a spoon, I'm not sure yet. First thing I noticed guys is eight foot medium heavy with a fast tip. Could throw a three quarter ounce Castmaster spoon as far as you wanted to sling it. Uh, most of the guys fishing were standing uh, knee deep in the water. I did not have to. I was able to stay dry, stay up on the beach, and launch this thing a mile, guys. Next thing that Corey and I noticed was plenty of backbone. Plenty of rod to turn those, you know, big jack cravels in the surf. Uh, the biggest thing we caught was probably an 8 to 10 pound jack. We all know those are strong fighters. I uh, really want to test this out on some bigger, some bigger fish, but really good backbone, sensitive tip. Um, for a four-piece rod, it felt sturdy, it felt stable. Um, very impressed with how I was able to turn fish in the surf and control them uh, on an eight-foot medium-heavy rod. Yeah, look guys, this thing casted well. It handled the fish. It had a nice medium heavy rod, uh, which had plenty of backbone. A nice split grip, which I like, and it wasn't like an 11 or 12 inch split grip. It was in that comfortable range for my shorter arms. The fast tip helped me throw that three quarter ounce, uh, half ounce spoon a mile out into the surf over the crashing waves where the jacks were at. Um, it traveled well. The case was well built. A good, solid, sturdy case. Uh, Foam lined, very good foam lined with a really good zipper on it, guys. This is a really, really good rod case with a really good rod. Obviously, it's only been on one trip. I fished it four days. I don't know how long it's going to last, how long it's going to hold up. But for $50, if it only lasts me two trips, guys, it's worth the money. Anyway, so as you can see here on Amazon, this rod was $53. Bucks. Uh, it came in a lot of variations. Uh, they're talking ABS reel seats, they're talking Fuji guides. They had every size you would want in a bait caster, every size you would want in a spinning reel. You can see here all the way up to eight foot, nine foot. Um, very quality construction, good components. The rod did not feel cheap. It did not feel like a $50 travel rod. Um, I really think that this rod is a steal for anyone looking for a, a budget travel rod. Overall, I'm gonna rate this rod as a very good purchase. Uh, you can see by the reviews on Amazon, you know, there's 700 uh, reviews. All of them were up near the five-star rating. Um, obviously, I've only got one trip on it, but it was a good trip. We caught some good fish. We threw some big lures. It felt good. It felt quality. Uh, here in the States, I only throw, you know, the best quality rods and reels like all anglers do. Uh, I did not feel like I was throwing a cheaper rod. I did not feel like I was sacrificing quality. Um, had I brought a one piece Shimano or something that I would use here in the States. So overall, I'm going to call this a good rod. I'm going to call it a win. Uh, let's close this video out. Hey, there you have it. Good rod, good purchase, uh, losing light. So I had to film the outro here at the tackle station. Anyway, thanks a lot guys for watching. Uh, if you reach out there and you check out that go to rod, drop me a comment down below. Let me know that you liked it. I really think you're going to be impressed with it. It's a really good rod. I'm actually going to purchase a nine footer. I'm going to start doing some surf fishing here around the Galveston area uh, for Spanish mackerel this summer and for surf fish. So I'm going to pick up a nine footer uh, to put that pin on. So anyway, guys, thanks for everything. We really appreciate all the love and support. Uh, remember, as usual, we're making a push for 10,000 this year. Get down there and like, subscribe, helps the channel grow. Uh, we're putting out two videos a week, fishing videos on Sunday and uh, travel videos, vlogs, uh, equipment reviews, tackle updates, all kind of stuff on Wednesdays. Wednesdays are kind of a hodgepodge. Sundays are fishing videos. Thanks again for everything, guys. We appreciate it. We'll see you out there.